Hi guys, my name is Jaylin and today I'm going to be doing my top 10 books of 2014. So a lot of people have been doing this and I thought it would be super fun to do one every year also just because there's I've read so many books this year that I really do like to narrow it down to see which ones were my absolute favorite. So I really hope you guys like this video. It's going to be awesome. These books, they're not really in any specific order. Like, I didn't go, I like this one the most and this one the least. I just kind of threw them in there because it was going to be too hard to put them in an order that was, like, my all-time favorite and then my favorite. But my first book really was my all-time favorite book of the year. And then after that, it goes normal. So, so. book number one was Air of Fire by Sarah J. Mass, of course. You guys probably guessed that already, but just in general, the Throne of Glass series, but also specifically this book, I loved it so, so, so much. Oh my gosh. It's so long, I just enjoyed myself. Uh, I wish I could read it for the first time again and again and again and again, but sadly, no. So, if you guys don't know what Throne of Glass is about, I'm not going to explain it to you because I've done it in so many of my other videos. I'm pretty sure you could go pick one and it'd be on there. If not, just, just look it up. It's... Oh. My favorite book series number two was Significance by Shelley Crane. I read this in like May and I still love to go and flip through those books on my phone. I loved, loved, loved that book. I was addicted. I read it like three times. And I can't even get enough of it. Um, I've also explained that one hundreds of times. So you can either go look it up. Or <laughs> I'm not really going to take time to explain it a ton. Because I've explained it so many times before. But I just... I think one of the main reasons why I love that book is because there is no love triangle. And I sometimes I feel like I get so sick of the love triangles. It's like not everyone falls in love with two or three or four people, okay? there's sometimes just one person, you know, and it bugs me how everyone has to have two or three people. It's like, stop. Just let them fall in love with one person, please. So I really love that that one just had one person. It was awesome. So definitely go check that book out. It's my fave. Book number three or book series was Reboot and Rebel by Amy Tintera. This is the Reboot duology and I loved it. I'm pretty sure you guys have heard me talk about it also. So this is about a girl named Ren and a boy named Callum and this girl, um, so in the society when you die you have a really good chance of coming back rebooted and the longer you're dead the meaner and tougher you are. So the girl, Ren, died for 178 minutes. The boy, Callum, died for 22. So he's the lowest, she's the highest. They fall in love. He brings out the fun side in her that no one ever has been able to and it's amazing. And continues on in this book which is even more amazing. And I loved it to pieces. So I actually did film a book review with this but I never put it up. Probably because I didn't like it. But definitely, guys, all these books, seriously, I'm gonna link them below. Go get them, I like beg of you, like, oh. Book number four was The One by Kira Cass, and I really, most of these books I don't even have to say anything because you know I love them so much, but in the selection series right here, you know, third book, final, and if you guys haven't seen the new cover for the fourth book, The Air, it's kind of like a spin-off, I don't know why it's the fourth book, it should just be the first one in another series, but you know, whatever, I don't really care as long as we're getting more, but it is so beautiful. Like, seriously, go look it up. Actually, I'll just put a picture here for you. It's beautiful. I love it so much. So, yeah. And it is the last book. And isn't this cover just beautiful? I mean, I could stare at it all day long. And so, really, just go read it. I, I've gotten almost all my friends hooked on it. Even friends who you don't think like would like something like this tell them to read it it's amazing I've gotten so many people hooked on this book series I had a friend texting me just the other day because she's hooked up onto my Kindle and she couldn't get it to download and so I had to do something on my computer you know like just register some of my other devices and because I have so many people on there and mm. And she was like, please hurry, I'm dying. And so, really, you just you just have to read it. Number five was Of Poseidon, or 
and of Triton and of Neptune. Most likely these two. I didn't love of Neptune, but these two I loved. Look at how small of Triton is compared to of Neptune. And what is, these are called like the Serenity or something. It's a weird name. Sirena, Serena series um, by Anna Banks. And this is about a girl named um, Emma and a guy named Gallen. I think that's how you pronounce his name. And um, this girl is like half mermaid and Gallen is a mermaid and it's beautiful. You just, you just have to read it. It's amazing. Oh, it's so good, you guys. All of these books are, I'm giving like five out of five stars. They're just freaking fantastic. So definitely just go check them out. For sure, all the links will be below. So really, guys, I'm not even kidding you. You just need to get them. Number six is the Lux series by Jennifer L. Armentrout. And so that includes Obsidian and Onyx and Opal and Origin and Opposition and Oh, if you guys haven't read these books, I really, I just, I don't know what to say. So, that is the third book I've almost dropped. And the second that I actually have, I'm having problems over here. But this book is about a girl named Katie and a guy named Damon. And he's an alien. And they fall in love. And it's just beautiful. <sighs> this really, like like um made me love sci-fi it's really one of those series where it made me it made me really like appreciate it it's what made me read alienated by melissa melissa landers and i really did love that but there wasn't enough room for it on this list so i just guys this book these books just just read it there's five of them what more could you want number seven is vampire academy by rochelle mead and there's six books in this one, and I don't really know why you haven't read it yet. I know why I haven't read it, because I'm a weirdo, and I was breaking, like, the unbreakable rule of not reading it, but you guys just seriously need to read it. It's so good, and don't worry, it's, it, you'll love it. Just so, just when you're like, Jalen, you are the worst person in the world for making me read this, I'm really far back. You'll appreciate me when day. you get to the end. Number eight is Waterfall by Lisa T. Bergren. Really, because of this series, time travel, I look at it in a different light now. Like, it's just so amazing to me now. Um, this is about, I, I'm pretty sure I've told you guys about this, but I'll tell you quickly. It's about two girls. Sadly enough, I forgot the two girls' names. It'll come back to me like tonight I'm laying in bed just staring at the books, you know. But I can't remember right now. So, whatever. But, they, their mom's an archaeologist, they put their hands on these handprints, even though they know they're not supposed to, They and they get transported, like, way far back, like, way, like, 1300s, I think. You know, when the Bluetonic Plague, or however you say it, the Rat Plague, came along, like, a couple years before that, like, three. And they meet these two guys, and, you know, they fall in love, and it's just amazing. So... Definitely go look at it, but that series. I love it so much. I really it's really awesome You guys really just need to check it out series number nine um kiss a fire It's called like the Emma something series. It's really hard to pronounce I'm not gonna try and worry about it, but it's about a girl named Jocelyn I've talked about this in two videos before one of them's not up. I don't think I don't think um, I think the other one went up just barely like my last video and it's about magic and she falls in love and it's amazing. It's one of my new favorite series. I can't even get over it. I'm making my mom read it. That's how much I like it. When I love series, I make her read them. But she only reads books that I really, 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 really like. So I'm making her read it. So that will prove something to you. And finally, book number 10 that was one of my top favorites was the Shatter Me series by Tara Mafi. I really love this series. It was just so beautiful. One, her writing is fantastic. It's so beautiful. I just, I can't even understand it. But really, I just, it's such a beautiful book. It really is. I got a couple of my friends to read it. They all loved it. And I really love the ending. It's amazing. So definitely check it out. 
those are my top 10 favorite series or books that I read this year. I read over 100, like 116 or something. So I had so many to choose from. It was so hard and narrow it down to like just one or two that I wanted to pick. But I loved every single book that I picked for this list. Five out of five stars to all of them. So definitely go check them out. Links will be down here. I hope you guys like this video. I'll talk to you next time. Hit that subscribe button and that like button and comment below um, what you want for Christmas and because that's so soon and I'm so excited. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!